Plenty of men in the centre. Waiting for a kill is one of them. And they've turned it around. Another incredible twist. And Andy Keogh pops up. Three minutes to Hello go. Hello and welcome to this preview of the tonight's game against Derby County. A massive game. Again, like I said last week, because it's the next game. I did delay this preview, however, because I was waiting on results last night. Villa beating Cardiff, which again proves my point that Cardiff are falling well away from those top two places. Fulham winning against Reading, which means that Wolves can't be promoted tonight. But with a win tonight for Wolves, they could it, it could be the last game that they play as a championship team because if Brentford manage to get a point or if they beat Fulham on Saturday tea time, then Wolves will be promoted regardless of their result against Birmingham later in the week. So that's why this preview is a little bit delayed under the Express and Star. Talking Wolves... Dazzling Dave put all their previews up yesterday before any games were played. I thought I would delay mine just a little bit, just in case it could be an exciting preview. But it's not. It's another three points that we need. Um, and five points is all we need until we can guarantee promotion and we could take a massive step towards that tonight against Derby. Who themselves, it's a massive game for them because they're in fifth place at the moment. They are looking... Probably over their shoulders more than looking forwards to catching Villa. Um, I think they're in danger of being caught possibly by Millwall, who are now in that sixth place, and also Middlesbrough, who, although they lost last night, have got a couple of winnable fixtures to come. So a couple of players to look out for again uh, today. We've got uh, Vidra, of course, he's played for the Albion. Uh, he's the top scorer in the Championship, so he's definitely one to look out for at the moment. Uh, they've also got Andy Vyman, who, of course, used to play for us last season. So Derby have had quite an indifferent second half of the season. I think around about Christmas time, I remember thinking they are ones to really, really worry for and that they could possibly catch us or finish second, certainly. But they've really dropped off. And a couple of weeks ago, that amazing result at home to Sunderland, getting battered 4-1. They have recovered well from that with a away win at Preston and then beating Burton at home. Form sort of at this point in the season goes out the window a little bit because every game for teams that need something is a cup final and you can see some really odd results with teams at the bottom beating teams at the top and stuff like that because anything can happen in the championship and as we've seen all season there's no result that's guaranteed so Wolves at home to Derby tend to have quite a good record I remember a very good win on a Friday night back in 2015 when Wolves were closing in on the playoffs they beat Derby who were doing quite well I think we we're in the playoffs at the time and they dropped out of it and that seems to be happening again to Derby this season. They've started really well and they're dropping away. So almost you can set your clocks by it. And the away fixture this season, Wolves, it was the first real sign, I think, of how good a team Wolves were. It was the game that Tim Spears described Wolves as playing filthy football. Um, and it was, it was really exciting. I remember just being in complete control of that game and being worried about it beforehand because we'd been battered there a few times previously but we really dominated that game. But I think the key thing for Wolves tonight is that we respond better than how we did last week. After the drama and the tension of the Middlesbrough game against Hull, we didn't sort of turn up with as much intensity in the first half as we had done in previous games. Now, we had, of course, the tension and the excitement of the end of the Cardiff game and the draining emotion of it. So the game against Cardiff wasn't, I don't think, as emotionally draining as the Middlesbrough game because the Middlesbrough game, it dragged on for a long time, didn't it, with all the nine men, ten men, and it was... A stressful situation whereas the Cardiff game was sort of the stress was in the last couple of minutes there wasn't it wasn't stretched out uh, Cardiff didn't threaten our goal time after time after time we sort of con we controlled the game we, and it's been said by a lot of people that how good we were has been sort of brushed to one side because of the drama of the last couple of minutes we should have won that game 3-0 quite easily but we just need to make sure that tonight we take those chances because Derby I think are probably a a better footballing team than Cardiff are and we need to make sure that we take the chances that we get because they they could punish us I think a bit more than Cardiff could. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Do you think we are going to respond in a positive way for the start of today, uh, tonight's game uh, and don't forget if you haven't already don't forget to like the video. Thank you everybody as well for getting me to two and a half subscribers. Thank you again to Dan Richens who's uh, provided the stats and information for me the research uh, for today's video so thank you very much if anybody else wants to contribute then send me an email the link is in the description down below and i'll see you after the game tonight Bye bye